Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. My name is Edgar Mendez. I, um, I'm going to tell you this is a bonus reading, but it gave me a flashback to when I first started doing readings. I would do bonus readings. Um, that's actually a real good time for me. And anyway, I was expanding a lot. I feel like it's the same thing right now. I'm expanding. I'm growing. I'm moving on to something different. I don't know. It's so crazy, but I got a flash of that. So I just want to let you all know that I know I love you. know I care. And today we're going to be doing a reading focus on... Um, how does your person see you? All right. I want to thank you for being here. No, I care. No, you mean the world to me. And we're going to do a you versus them for how they see you. And then I guess take it from there. All right. Um, there is an extended to this reading. You can check out the extended in the comment or description section. Um, hmm, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to think about that. Hmm, maybe, maybe later. Anyway, so let's take a look here. Can I get a you versus them for Gemini and their person? A you versus them for Gemini and their person. Let's get, what, is, what energy is Gemini currently in? What energy is Gemini currently in? It's not actually any of these. It's right here. Crazy as that is, we have the Eight of Wands. Ooh, movement. All right. And then Gemini's person. We have the Two of Cups. I just realized something really funny. Um, I just saw one, one, one on the camera. Um, I'm gonna leave it like that. I mean, I just I get all these epiphanies, and it's just it's just hindsight's 2020. Remember that always. I know you may not always have the answers right in front of you, Gemini, um, or right when you want them, but they come eventually. You know, the far, further along you are in your past, the more you see the truth of well, what was right or what happened. Um, or what you were missing. <laughs> uh, I know it's a crazy thing. I am being guided to tell you. I remember when I first met my my twin. Um, I didn't know my twin was my twin until well after I had let go and released it. And I had the epiphany, the realization, and the certainty. I feel like this could be at play here where both you and them don't know, right? You don't know. And it's like, it leaves you guessing, right? Uh, certainty will come. Knowing will come. In, well, sorry, no, knowing will come. Um, uh, uh, that 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 def definitive answer will come. Um, it just takes time, and it, it it's forward on your path, not necessarily right where you are. It's hindsight, actually. Um, so I don't, I don't know why I want to say that because I feel like there's a karmic cycle at play. That's probably why you don't have all the answers, but. I'm going to leave it just like that. No, I love you, Gemini. So let's get to you versus them. So for you, um, hmm. you know, it's funny. Um, for Aries, I did the how do you see each other. For you, I'm doing you versus them. All right. So I just realized that. But for your energy, what you're in is the eight of wands. I feel like you're going towards your passions. I feel like you're working. Um, there's some kind of goal or aspiration that you have. One goal I am seeing is a destination. Maybe you're thinking about moving. Maybe you're thinking about vacation. Maybe you're thinking about both, right? Um, but you definitely, there's this feeling coming through strong, right? That you are putting all the work into your job, your career, your, um, uh, your passions, you're making money, and you are going places now, right? I feel like you're 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 moving, and this is actually a really beautiful thing. Sometimes when we don't know what we want, it's hard to move, right? Other times when we don't have anything to do or to uh, we don't have any way to take control of our life, it's hard to move as well. I feel like this is someone who's very sovereign. Um, uh, this is an energy of someone who um, has control of your life, has will, right, is able to do that. I want to give you one of the best examples I have to give for this. You know, when you are, um, when you work for someone, you don't get the option of getting more hours if there's no more hours, right? You don't get the option of having more um uh, of making more money, right? I feel like you may own your own business or have a side hustle or have a way to create that revenue. Um, it feels something along the lines here where you, you, you are investing your time and your energy into something that is bringing prosperity into your life, abundance and passion into your life. And it, this is, this is control over your life. It is everything. All right. Um, when you have a taste of this, uh, Gemini, you don't go back. No, no. Um, huh, he, you keep going forward. All right. That's actually what you're doing for this person current energy and i know that i see like the internet having like one bar i don't know why it does this i have comcast everyone but it has one bar i see it but with the two of cups in its reverse i can tell um, that um i can tell that this person's energy by the way my kitty came he only comes to the most special reading so know that that's a thing all right um maybe he'll jump down maybe he won't um by the way comcast is not that bad <laughs> by the way <laughs> Yeah, don't know. No. Hey, I mean, Comcast, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, for the two of cups in its reverse here, I can feel, um, I can feel uh, in its reverse, this person's masculine and feminine energies are imbalanced. They may be cultivating one, not the other. Um, lately, that's kind of been a thing, right? I feel like this is someone who 
uh, may be imbalanced inside, right? They have imbalance in, uh, in their harmony. Um, I feel like this reflects to their external world. If you are apart from each other, that's a real good thing right now because this person got some work to do, got some work to go, but it's not the only thing. I feel like this person's naturally... Um, they're in balance in ways that's interesting. You may be also, but I feel like you're bringing yourself into alignment with your passions by taking control of your life and steering the ship, right? Um, this person may not have those same choices or may not have those same opportunities. So don't um, take this for granted, right? The, your ability to take control of your life and to move in the directions you want to move in is not usual, right? Um, it's not common. It's not for everyone, not everyone has that option. Oh, my kitty came in again. I gotta be honest with you, Gemma. It's a real special reading if he came in twice now. Hey, baby. Let me give you a kiss. Okay. Um, he's here, just like walking around. Okay, baby. Um, my other cat sometimes comes, but he stopped coming. I don't know. It is what it is. So with the um two of cups in his reverse, I feel like this person um is 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 life, right? His energy is imbalanced right now. Mm. Um, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to nitpick that, but I, I think I'm going to leave it there for your current connecting energies are, you know, uh, that you have is we have justice reversed, right? I feel, um, justice reverse feels like to me, um, things are unresolved between you and this person. There's lack of truth. I feel that's why I went on that tangent. Um, uh, when it came to, we get the truth after I know, I know. Oh, so isn't it so annoying? I just like, you want it now, especially when it matters so much to you, but it's further along in your path. I feel neither one of you really has that truth that you want. Um, that knowing if like you want to know everything in the full picture, I want to say I, I was on Rick and Morty. Um, it, it was, I think it was one of those dream, dream ones or the train one. It was about following the highest truth of all. You both want that, right? I can tell. Um, you don't have it. You have little bits of truth. You want the highest truth of all. All right. And we have the six of swords here. You're both moving towards harmony. I can see that. Um, better days, actually. I feel summertime for this connection is going to change um, in a big way. I, I keep getting that for a lot of signs, even private readings, summer, 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 June, June or something, June, July. Um, uh, very, very important. Um, but I feel like you and this person are both moving towards uh, a better place, a better um, destination, um, maybe together, maybe apart. All right. So let's look at how this person sees you. So can you tell me, how does this person currently see um, Gemini, right? How does this person currently see Gemini? Um, my oldest deck, by the way. I was uh, cleansing it right before I started it. So I'm actually really happy. Um, a Gemini, 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 Gemini. Um, can you tell me, how does Gemini's person see Gemini this day? Okay, let's see. Okay, we have the Six of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Sorry, the Page I, I thought it was going to be the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Cups reverse. All right. Hmm. Um, it is a mix of both here. I'll see. Hold on. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. Um, um, mm, the Six of Cups. I, it's an odd thing to say. This person sees you walking away. I think they're doing the same thing. And it kind of feels like both you and them are ignoring your maybe your guidance. Maybe your intuition, maybe your inner knowing. The reason why I feel it, it's it's like you you two are kind of giving a break. Uh, you know, I want to say a break, a breather to this connection has to do more with truth and knowing than it has to do with compatibility and wanting to be together right now. As crazy as that sounds, I feel like this person sees you. I actually think it's reversed as well as just moving on, ignoring your intuition, not listening to yourself, not listening to your inner guidance, and moving in a direction that may not be right for you. Right. Again, no such thing as the wrong path, right? But there is this message that it uh, it, it flipped really fast when I when I hit it, uh, when I hit that card. Um, I think they're doing the same thing. And again, this is where hindsight comes in. You know, it's not that one of the biggest things that I've like, you know, noticed just throughout my experiences um, uh, is uh, people take that personally, right? Sometimes you just need a break. Sometimes you just need distance. You just need to know. You need to see. You need to feel. You need to understand. And you honestly need to experience something else sometimes just to know that this is right for you. I feel like both you and them are headed in that direction, whether you know it intrinsically or not, whether it's, it's understood within yourself or not. Um, both you and them are moving to a place to help you understand what you just went through easier, better, and I want to say with more clarity, um, I, sorry, that's the word I want to give, efficiency, all right? I know it's crazy to say efficiency, but um, this person is real sure you're the one who's leaving and not really considering what you're leaving behind, but I 
I swear, I feel like they're doing the same thing. Uh, with the Eight of Cups here, that journey of self-discovery, um, you know, uh, Eight of Cups is like, you know, it, it's just where life had a lot of disappointments. You may have left and vice versa. Um, because you were afraid about more disappointment. That's part of it, maybe. But I feel like you're going, you won't be disappointed with, if you were to walk away from this for now um, and look back and then you can fix it, right? Um, maybe if they're open to it. But I don't know how close off this person will be. But I feel um, this is such a necessary step in one's journey. You just, you have to know, don't you? Like, don't you, if you got with this person today, Maybe you're maybe 80% sure they're the one, right? Um, you can take this little short little stint, right? This short little journey, right? Take a few br br uh, months, right? Um, off and look back and just know for a fact that they're the one for you. And then you would be aces, right? It, it would be, uh, it's such a, it's a far more beautiful experience. But um, I feel like both you and them are going to have that, all right? With the Eight of Swords in its reverse here, hmm, they don't see you tied down by the same things that they are. There is a... As crazy as it sounds, I can tell. I can feel like this person is not chasing you, but they're doing what you're doing. But the eight of swords are reversed for your, for me. It's it's like you're not hunkered down by those negative thought patterns that make everyone question everything, right? Oh my god, what should I do this or should I not? Um, and you hesitate for everything. I see you as just you're just winging it, right? You're just going with it. You're just trying. You're experiencing. You're daring, and that's kind of where their moon comes in. You're just taking a trip here, and you're gonna see what's what. I feel. Um, I, I gotta be real honest with you you are healing by the way um you're releasing right you know slowly but surely you're gonna really stuff into that water um baggage right and 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 hmm, you're gonna be lighter all right with the other overall being the lovers yeah um they see you as the one who's leaving <laughs> them behind but again i swear it feels like they're right behind you making that same choice knowing i it, it's part of it right um this detour can last a long lot, lot longer than just maybe a few months or um, it can last a few years, um, but it, it's not about the length of time. It's more, I want to say, the experiences. That's actually what I want to say. I'm sorry, I really don't want to emphasize that. That one's a fun one. But um, it, it's, it's, uh, it's also about whether or not you're willing to open yourself up to, um, no, I want to say uh, opening to discovery, but maybe. I want to say experiences. That's what I want to give. That's what I really want to give to you. So if you are thinking about taking a trip somewhere, if you are thinking about moving towards, like, you know, uh, moving on a new location, give that a shot. I feel, uh, and I feel this, um, you're going to... Um, uh, you're you're gonna move through this faster, all right? Um, let's take a look here. So, can you tell me? Oh, um, so I didn't expect to get like this crazy reading for you, Gemini, but here we are. So, let's look at Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, okay. Um, mm -mm -mm. I don't know where to go from here. Sorry, that that message was crazy. Let's see why you got that message, or what does this mean for Gemini? Then, what does this mean for Gemini? For Gemini viewers, um, what does this mean? <laughs> um anyway it's just the funniest thing all right uh the first one we have is the empress reverse all right you know um when we're not 100% sure we're making the right choice, we can sometimes block our sacral chakra, block our ability to manifest, co-create, or even bring in abundance. Um, I know that this is triggering. I know that you don't want to be doing this, but I feel in your heart, you know, getting some distance, taking some time, taking that break, uh, getting some R&R &R is the right thing for you, right? It's the right choice for you, right? I feel like your message with the Empress is um, the parts of you that are unsure, I feel like maybe they need some guarantee, right? Maybe they need to know, right? Maybe your inner child needs to know that if you were to decide that they are the one for you, you will make the move or something. I don't know. It's such a crazy thing to say, but I feel like there are parts of you, maybe it's your heart, um, that just need to know what are you going to do huh, with this information or no, I don't think it's that one. Sorry. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it, whenever I'm healing people, uh, Gemini, I ask them, what does any words come to my mind? I feel like you gotta ask, you gotta ask yourself, what comes to my mind for a reason as, as I'm blocked or why I may be blocked here or blocking myself and start to soothe those parts. Cause I feel like this is the right call. All right. Um, we have the emperor reverse. Interesting. This is the masculine and feminine energies. Both are distorted. Um, I feel your masculine and your feminine needs to both know, um, that this is the right call. Uh, also, what are you going to do uh, with that information, right? We have the nine of wands. This is all about surrendering. Hmm. 
they may not want to give up these parts of you want um don't want to give up yet when it comes to um this connection but i feel with the nine of wands and reverse um it is ultimately um the right thing to do there is something that you'll gain from this experience uh knowing i feel is a key one a real key one instead of just guessing right maybe um I think you need to know. Honestly, I feel like you really do. And we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse. I am not surprised I came out on the Three of Wands. Um, why you got this message is that this chapter that you're moving towards is going to have a lot of expansion in it. Um, with the Three of Wands here, I want to give you one of the best things that you can just like, and I, I swear it's the craziest thing. Do you know when you're on like a roller coaster and you lift both your hands up so that you can, you know, not be holding on so tightly to really experience it to its fullest. I have a message for you, Gemini. Let go completely. I go completely. Um, I feel like you're going to come right back, back down. It'll be just fine. But I feel like whatever experiences you're moving towards, you're going to want experience to experience them fully, right? All the way. 100%. And holding on to this person means that you're only going to experience it like 70% rather than, I don't know, 100, right? Um, I, the message that you, uh, why you got this reading or why you're getting this message is, I feel like what you're doing is right for you, but if you don't go all the way, you won't get as much. And this is what it's all about. It's experience, right? Um, you want to fully, you want to be fully present. Does that make sense? Presence um, when it comes to this. With that strength here and then the pentacles, oh, sorry, um, with the strength and Knight of Pentacles, I feel like your love for this person is going to endure. That's for sure. But you'll be stronger for it. Um, I'm going to give you the craziest thing. I just got it. You know, if you never fully let go, I feel like this person will have a lot of power over you. I know it's crazy to say, but I feel like you need to experience it. I remember when I did it myself, um, I almost died. Actually, I, I, I swear I did. I mean, it, it felt like death, um, like literal death. Like I, I, it was excruciating, unbelievable. I mean, I can't even believe I went through that. But um, with that strength being here, uh, I feel like you'll be stronger as a result of it. And you'll also be able to live your life more in the present moment and not be hunkered down by thoughts of them, feelings of them, or even energies of them because um, you let them go. And when life lines everything up, you can make that move um all right let's get some channel messages before we take this over to the extended um by the way gemini uh this reading real crazy but no i love you okay no i love you a lot so let's see gemini sun moon rising and venus what's um sorry it's right here uh there you go. It goes right in. Huh. Nine of Swords. I'm getting over my fears. This next chapter for you, Gemini, is going to be one of solid. Uh, one of uh, sorry, not solitary. One of um, a one you're going to take by yourself, individual, right? Um, with the ten, is it's it's two people coming together, right? I know, I know, I know. No one wants to take it, right? But in reality, this is for the highest good of all, right now. All right. Uh, we have. Do you even see? Uh, what do you even see in me? Um. You're going to see more and more of what you, why you like this person as you go on this journey. Um, uh, it, it, it's clear the hindsight's there, but I feel like this is also to do from them, right? What the, what the, um, this person would like to know, what do you see in them? All right. I shouldn't have treated like the rest. This comes out a lot. Um, I'm sorry. It's, it's the Hierophant. I feel here with the Hierophant energy, hmm, um, you know, that could be it. That could be it. Um, I feel like there may have been ways that you treat this person or, or ways that you um, maybe, maybe the phrasing of your words or um, maybe even your facial expressions or, the, the you know, um, how you conducted yourself in this connection and vice versa that both of you need, really need to reflect upon. I feel now, now that I have this card out, that this is both of you taking this journey. And both of you need this message about letting letting go, surrendering completely and letting it, um, and you'll know. You'll know when it's like when you come back down or you'll know when you when you touch down back to earth where it's like, oh, it's them or um, I don't know, maybe it's not, but you know, you, you want to know, but I feel like both of you and them are going to be learning this one, right? Why did I treat them like that? And vice versa. Um, this is something that lurks within the shadow, right? And we have, I thought I had more time. I know we always do, but I feel like there was plenty of time that you shared together. Um, enough. Enough to know that this next chapter is necessary. Enough to know that what you're doing when it comes to surrendering it is, is, is the right thing. And uh, when it comes to you experiencing new things, possibly new people, is the right call. We have, I can't even look at what I've done. There are things that have happened between you and this person that both you and them need time to reflect upon. And I feel like it's better spent 
apart than it is together. Why? You're going to take it out on each other, right? Um, there's no need for that, right? I feel like it will be easier to heal um, individually than it will be together, all right? Uh, we have, I can't feel your love anymore. This is the Queen of Cups. It's actually in its reverse. Um, I don't know about that one. Let me see. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. Hold on. I, I want to... I want to I want to actually go a little bit in that. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse when it comes to uh, this reading? I can't feel your love anymore. Mm. You know, um, sometimes uh, Gemini. I almost said Pile. Oh, I do have a new pick a card channel, so do check it out. But uh, sometimes Gemini, um, we we kind of need to withdraw our love from someone so that they can feel what it is like without it, right? Um, if you keep your mind on them, you're always texting them, you're always calling them, you're always. Uh, uh, around them, they don't know what it's like to be without you, right? Even if you're not in each other's lives, right? You're 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 always there. Withdraw yourself, withdraw your energy completely, right? Call back your power, and with that, this person will truly understand what they're missing. Until then, they're not going to get it, right? This person doesn't know what a day without you is like ever since they met you, and this is what they need to learn. All right. Um, it is some true facts. All right. I will leave it like that. I'm going to take this over to the extended uh, Gemini. Don't forget to like and comment and take care. Bye.